In one of my recent videos, I think it was the six things to avoid uh, when buying a motorcycle project, I mentioned uh, oil seals and gaskets and stuff like that. Uh, because if a bike sits for a period of time and it doesn't get used and then all of a sudden you use it, uh, all those oil seals, I guess, and the rubber gets hard. And then when you try and wear it in again, it ends up potentially leaking. And here's a perfect example. This one here is uh, pretty much, this is only a tiny bit. I had a rag sitting down here uh, before I put this stand under it and it was pretty much soaked. And you can just see it running down there and there's a big drip. So it needs replacing. So I ended up grabbing myself this kit here, which has all the little seals that you could possibly want on a CX. It's just CX and GL related. Uh, I'll leave the Amazon link to this in case you want to get one for yourself. I have two CX's so it was worth me buying this because I probably will end up using a majority of these if I do end up rebuilding one of these engines. Uh, I only need this little guy out of it so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to pull this one out and hopefully it comes out easily enough and I can just replace it with that and that'll stop that from leaking. Another extremely useful set of tools that you should have in your toolkit uh, are these things. They're a little hook uh, pick set. Different ones obviously you've got different angles for different things but to try and remove o-rings or trying to obviously get this little guy out is awesome like even the, the fork tubes when you've got like the actual tube and you've got a little rebate that sits about this deep and then you're trying to clean that little bit of gunk that's in there so you can get to the circlip um, yeah these things are wicked so I'll leave a link uh, in the description to a set of these it doesn't matter what brand you get you're not going to break them unless you're super super crazy being silly with them so with these little seals uh, if you don't know then obviously it's got to go back in the same way it came out which is kind of common sense but sometimes you may have forgotten which way it came out if you've taken it out and then you've gone off and done other things maybe a couple of days or weeks or months later. So the way you determine which way they go in is they're there to seal obviously the oil from coming out. So this little hollow section at the back, if the oil hits that and expands, it's going to keep it sealed, generally speaking. So the best way to do it is make sure that the opening faces where the oil is, so like that. Hopefully that makes sense.